We are back on the episode monthly show. Courtesy, we use using courtesy of the Buddy Cast. Thank you very much, Nick, of course, AK Buddy. And um, Evans A. Darylis is joining us now. His face is not busy. You're eating. What are you eating, Evans? Uh, Haitian food. Oh, my God. You cannot hate on Haitian food. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick's doing the drum thing, you know? Um, um, I'm shaking my head behind the scenes. Yeah, you, 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 you know, Evans, I dated a Haitian lady, right? And, and of course, she never really made any, any Haitian food, right? But when I went to your party, was I chowing down on the Haitian food or what? Yeah, you were. I'm telling you, isn't that a compliment when, it, when I eat a lot? I have no idea, Derek. Uh, I have no idea. I, I want to hang out with your family more because I want to eat more Haitian food. And then, and then, plus, if uh, you have any single cousins out there, I, I, I... no, <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, um, of course, um, Evans, a uh, buddy has a buddy cast show, Nick, and he's in Erie, Pennsylvania. I was getting all my eerie jokes out, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, eerie, you know, you feel eerie, you know. But <laughs> but um, Nick, how did you start Don't the buddy cast? Ca- I'm, so- I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't make Buddy leave with those guns, Darren, please. <laughs> I'm surprised Dylan hasn't left yet. <laughs> D- Dylan hasn't left yet, you know? Um, um, but, um, yeah, so t- t- tell me, how did you get started with the Buddy Cast? So Buddy Cast started in the middle of 2020. You know, I worked for a news station and just saw all the behind-the-scenes stuff. The world was just going downhill. We had the pandemic. We had the protests that were turning into riots. We had all this hate, all the political hate, all the just, it seemed like you greeted someone on the street and they, you know, you greeted with that, Hey, how's it going? And they told you to go do something unholy or something, you know, like just something that simple. And I'm just, I thought to myself, I'm like, this world just needs a feel good story. Just something that can help people get back to the good times. Like, Reminding this person why they do what they do. Like, reminding the piano teacher why she teaches piano, even though she hasn't had a student in five months. Reminding the, you know, the small business owner who has to adapt to online sales why they why they love what they do and haven't gone to a big corporation yet to pay the bills. Right. Just things like that. So I thought to myself, I actually was granted an interview. Do you, you know who Patch Adams is? Yes, Patch Adams. The um, um, Robin Williams played him in a yep. movie. Yep. I know the real him. Um, and I was granted an interview for him for my for the television station just on how to, like, spread more happiness, how to spread more joy, how to, you know, like when you find yourself in this time frame, what to do to make life better. And he gave a great interview. And after that, I kind of got that, like, I got, I should say, I got bit by the bug. And I'm like, I can see myself doing this more. Like, I can see this being a hobby of mine. So I slept on it for about a week or so. And then I chatted with my now fiance. And I'm like, look, I have this idea. I want your approval because I don't want it to come between us or anything like that. I think it could be something. I'm, I don't think it's going to be like, skyrocket like i don't think like it's gonna be picked up by nbc or anything like that but i think it could be something it could be something that could help people you know i gave her the idea i gave her the rundown of what i would talk to i want it to be a show that talks to people about what makes them unique careers hobbies talents Mm -hmm. stories um just anything that makes you a buddy that you know you can relate to with other buddies i like that and she looked at me and said the only you know um the only thing she said to me was not only do I love this and support this idea, but can I be your first guest? Which was my next question. So um, she was fully on board with it and still supports it to this day. Still, you know, we'll always chat with the people behind the scenes, you know, like we'll just, I always warm up the guests as I did with you, Derek. I always warm up the guests. Um, I always, you know, chat with them beforehand and then I'll chat with them even afterwards for a minute Um, so she does things like that. And then, um, so I started with her and then I started with some local people, just local business owners, uh, radio hosts, um, 
all this other stuff. And then my real break came when I interviewed a comedian named Greg Morton, who was on America's Got Talent. Mm. He's a great buddy of mine. He, um, if you saw him, he was the guy, I can't remember what season he was on, but he was the guy who did all the like impersonations, like all the voices. Um, and then while I was on that episode, he, um, a buddy of mine asked if, Greg does Cameo, if you've ever heard of that app before. Okay. Oh, and yes, I did. I, yeah. Yeah. So I asked my buddy afterwards because I wasn't, it was kind of new to me. I'm like, by the way, what's Cameo? And he's like, you haven't heard of it yet? I'm like, no, it's like, you can get personal shout outs, you can reach celebrities. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Why haven't I heard of this before? So I dabbled into it. And then I found out, you all know who Sinbad is, right? Yes. Yeah. So I found out. Sinbad was on the app and I found out for like $200 or something you could do a Zoom call with him. So I thought, why not? I always wanted to meet him. He was supposed to come to Erie a few months before the pandemic, but then it, you know, everything got shut down. So he yeah. had to cancel. So, um, I, so I signed up for that and he saw, you guys can kind of see like the background there. That used to be a backdrop, um, at my old studio, but I had a, I had to move out of it, and um, I, he saw that backdrop, and he's like, what's Buddy Cast?" So I gave him the elevator pitch, and he loved it. And I then mm-hmm. just took a shot and said, I'd love it if you could be a guest. You know, we'd talk about acting, talk about comedy for all the inspiring comedians in my city. He dropped me, uh, he dropped me an email address and said, we'll make it happen. Reach out to this person. Mm. So, so did you interview me yet? Oh, yeah. I interviewed him two years ago, and he did fantastic. You can, find it on our, you can find it on our Facebook page. You can find it on our thing. You know, he said some great things. Like he, and that was in the time of like the the um, protests and everything too. So he right. really broke his mind on that. He really said, "Look, if you're going out for a change, and you mm-hmm. come back, and if you come back in the same condition that you left, what did you accomplish?" Sure. <clears throat> did you ask you know, him about, about Bill Cosby? I mean, I mean. I I that wasn't that wasn't back then, you know. Right, because because I, I I'll be watching the Cosby Show. I I you know Dylan always says you know on his podcast you, you sometimes you got to separate the artist from the person. Do do, do you agree with yeah. that, buddy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because there are some people who on screen they're the nicest people in the world. They're there, you know, but the minute they get off screen, they're yelling at their assistant because they got them two percent milk instead of soy milk. Or you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and, and, doing something like that, like they're, you know, I've seen plenty of people like that. I've even interviewed some people like that, unfortunately, who it seems like they put on a smile whenever they're doing the job. But when I was chatting with them, it just seemed like I was like just part of their schedule for the day. Like, come on, kid, let's get this going and just move this on. You know, they were on buddy like. Sure. Yeah. But at the same time, that doesn't mean I've had greater interviews in the past. Like, you know, you and me, we have that buddy, Michael. He was fantastic, and he's just as genuine on screen as off screen. I know he plays a villain in his roles, but oh, he's a sweetheart, M- Michael Vaccaro. He's a yeah. sweetheart. He's he's from Don Man, Dylan. Remember uh, uh, Evans, and, and he was in our movie The Man of Blue Sweats. That's how I got to know of Buddy because Buddy interviewed Michael Vaccaro, and Buddy, you did a great job interviewing Michael. You know what I'm saying? I mean. It, it was just, it was, just yeah. a, it was a flawless interview. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Very good. But that's what I mean. Like he's a prime example of that. Like on screen, he's like this mean guy who you probably never want to sit next. Like he's the mean guy you don't want to sit next to on the plane or something like exactly. that. Exactly. And like he's a sweetheart. Exactly. He's the nicest guy. Like he told the sweetest stories. He's he was happy to do that interview. So 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 you said, buddy, you were in the news business. Are you still in the news business? I'm not anymore. I'm in the sales business now. I wanted something more. Um, that I can interact with people more and stuff like that. And I needed better hours for me and my fiance. You know, I was working from three to 11 at night and coming home at like midnight. So I needed something with better hours. And what, yeah. what, what did you do for the news station? I was their digital content manager. I was the website guy, putting the stories on the website, um, clipping the videos, social media, all that fun jazz. And Dylan, you have a question? Because I know, I know because Dylan has the whatever podcast. So what questions do you have for Buddy Dylan? 
Yeah, I got uh, two questions. So before before you uh, came up with the podcast in uh, 2020, did you have any thoughts of like starting up one before 2020? I thought of starting something small like an audio podcast that was actually called Buddy Cast with a dash in the middle. But then it really like it was just going to be something like, oh, talking about positivity, motivation and something else. But it didn't go in. It was just like one of those ideas, you know, it was just one of those ideas that like you think about you have like you're inspired for one day and the next day you try. And then by the third day, you're just like, well, that was fun, you know. But this grew yeah. into something because I had the connections. This grew into something that I had. I had enough base that I could build something out of it and build it from there, you know. So, but yeah, nothing other than that. Nothing really. I know there are other podcasts even in this city that have that I've been on before that do great work. Like I have buddies that I called Idiot Bill. They do they do a great job. Um, they revoted Evie's best uh, podcast in. 2020 um and then yeah things like that but other than that nothing nothing really all right and then uh well what do you see uh for the podcast in, in the future what will, will, will you say uh ideas you have or where you think that it will be going forward so honestly when it comes to the future every day is a new day for this podcast i run it by we i run it weekly like i'll schedule people ahead of time like i'll schedule you know i'll say like derek okay i have what's your best availability okay tuesdays are your best availability um i can do tuesday the 21st something like that but for future plans i love to build up things i would love to first off get back to our charity show buddy aid um i had this group of magician friends that put on a variety show we would just go one after the other after the other and we would choose a certain cause each year the last step the last time i did it we did it for a family friend of mine who had a two now three-year-old daughter who needed heart surgery you know things like that we always pick a cause but i'd love to get back to that and i'd love to interview more people i'd love i would love to interview more celebrities if i ever got the chance i would love to but it's not all about the celebrities because if you interview celebrities all the time you're going to burn out you're going to run out you know because you i for every one celebrity that i've had that's come on the show i've had three more that have told me no you know so you i would love just more interviews more local businesses to help them get off the feet and, um, you know, get some free promotion and more sponsorships because I could really use some funds. I could really use some money, not just for myself, you know, but for just my personal life. So that's where I think the future of BuddyCast is going. You know, as if you've ever seen the movie Sing, there's only one way to go, and that's up. Right. And Evans, I know you have a question or two for uh, Buddy. So um, what what um, what got you to um, decide that you wanted to do podcasting? It ultimately was that decision that this world needed more positivity. A buddy of mine, how I found StreamYard, which was which gave me the thing from taking it that idea that I had like years and years ago right. to taking it where it is today, was mm-hmm. StreamYard. It was um, a buddy of mine. I saw him doing some. Like he was just chatting online and he was using this program. It didn't look like Facebook Live. I mean, shout to him said, What's the what's that program you're using there? Like, what's going on? And he said, Oh, you don't know about StreamYard? I'm like, No. And he told me, you know, he he gave me the rundown. It's like a mix of Zoom and Facebook Live. It's you and me in the studio, like we are talking now, but then right. it's all of a, you know, we're broadcasted on a Facebook page, which we aren't now because we're not live, but. We're broadcasting right. on Facebook, so that way people could interact, ask questions. I can post links here, like I could post uh, this link, and it will show right here. But then it will show in the comments as well. Oh, well, that's so, pretty cool. Yeah, and it can show how many people like interacted for the episode. And the beauty of it, it stays on the Facebook page afterwards too. So let's say you know you were having dinner right now, 
something right. like that. You didn't tune into the episode. You can just go to our Facebook page and watch the episode. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah I, that's, that's really, the kind of stuff I like. Yeah, and that's what really pushed me to I told my fiance, like, I've got the people. I've got the platform. I've got the content ideas. What's stopping? The only thing stopping me is just your permission. And she was fully on board with it because I didn't want it to come in between us or anything like that. I never, I told her I never want, but I never want you to feel like you're below Buddy Cast. I never want you to feel like I never want the ultimatum of it's me or Buddy Cast because the minute you give me that ultimatum, show's over. I'm done. It was a fun ride. Thank you, folks. Go be someone's buddy. Have a nice day. You know. On that note, we're, we're, um, um, I only have a few more minutes left. We got to go to Craig Melvin from the Today Show. Then we'll come back and end this show. And I and I do have a, one final question um, um, at the end. We'll be right back. Episode okay. of the show.